thank you for the uh, opportunity to express my sincere sorrow for what's happened here in this community, for the tragic loss of a young life and the devastation to these communities. You know, I've personally seen in the, in the neighborhoods the disruption of daily life, the impact on all of the residents in the affected area, and it's heartbreaking to see this devastation and this tragedy. And on behalf of the entire NICE Source and Columbia Gas family, all of our employees, we all express our sincere regret and commitment to restoring lives here in the Merrimack Valley in the days and weeks ahead. I want to thank Chairman Sumwalt for the investigation. We are fully cooperating in the investigation and committed to full transparency and collaboration to get to all of the underlying causes. And as you know, I can't speak about those details, just learning of those myself here today uh, from this briefing. But the important point is that we are committed to full, co full coordination with the NTSB and full, taking full responsibility for whatever those findings will be. Our, our attention has been on restoring lives and restoring the community, the impact on the community, restoring the community to normal operations. We have mobilized large teams of our own employees and many, many of the other utilities who are here to help with this response, and we thank them all. Their dedication to safety and customer service and restoring the situation here is remarkable, and I, and I know on their, that on their behalf, I can share their sorrow and their commitment to this restoration as well. We have developed a restoration plan that involves replacement of all of the cast iron and bare steel pipe, but more importantly, is dedicated to supporting everybody who's affected by this until we are back to operations and restoring your confidence in us. We know that this has damaged the confidence and the trust in our company and in, 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 in what we do. And our full commitment is to restoring that trust and that confidence. In the days ahead, you'll see us open community liaison centers, working with the community leaders and the mayors, providing support that's for everybody affected by this up until we restore gas service which again will include and involve replacement of all of the systems and the customers, our customers' affected systems in their homes and their businesses. We'll begin to lay out that plan in the day ahead. We're working closely with the governor. I thank the governor for his leadership and our community leaders, our mayors for their leadership, all of the emergency responders, the fire department, the state police, everyone who's contributed to this this is a large-scale, significant tragedy, and we will require all of the support that we've seen to work through this, and we'll work diligently until we restore life in the community here. Lastly, I'd like to share that our team has been mobilized and ready to execute this plan. We have a large team assembled from the NYSource family accompanies a leadership team in place to lead the restoration effort and the replacement effort, and we'll begin to implement that plan in the day ahead. Let me take your questions. In, in the moments after the incident occurred, all of our attention was on mobilizing our operations response to what we knew that was the eruption, the, the uh, eruption of the fires, and we were certainly focused on that. I can't comment on anything that's inside the investigation at this time. As Chairman Sumwalt noted, 
We're in a long process related to this investigation, and we'll, we'll work very diligently to get answers to questions like that and others over time. Could we, could we have done better to communicate with the community in the early hours? We, we, we did everything we could to muster our operational resources. Our teams are extremely dedicated to responding to the emergency. On a scale this large, with the impact that we saw, there were, there were opportunities certainly to provide better communications in the early hours. We regret the, the, uh, the lack of communication that some people experienced early on keeping in mind that all of our resources were focused on dealing with the operational emergency in that moment. We're in the very early uh, hours and days of the investigation, which as you know, will take time, and how we deal with the investigation outcome is yet to be seen. We understand and completely uh, appreciate the frustration and the, con and the concerns that people experienced at the claim center. There was a large turnout, and as, as we saw that grow, we mobilized additional support, additional resources. We are here committed to the long term to make sure that we support our customers, our community, through the entire restoration effort. And we'll continue mobilizing and growing our response capability as we work through the re replacement and restoration program. It's, it's, I just learned that information. It's far too early to get into the underlying. I don't have those details. As we work through the investigation, which is a long process, those answers will come out. We understand that. We're going to work closely with all of the families who are concerned about returning to their homes, ensuring that we provide all of the support that they need, understanding that that fear is a perfectly normal thing. We understand that. We want to restore confidence by assuring them the system is safe. That's what's driving our desire and our commitment to replace the entire system. But more importantly, we'll work with them throughout this time period to make sure they have all of what they need to return to as close a daily life as, as we can. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't hear. Our plan will, will include all of the assurances necessary to be sure that the restoration and the rebuild meets all of the safety standards. It's too early to share those specifics, but we'll be in that mode shortly. We are, these are Columbia Gas customers and Columbia Gas Systems. We're working very closely with Eversource. Eversource has been a great partner and a great leader as we work through this. We thank them for their support. But these are Columbia Gas customers, and that restoration and supporting them as we go through the restoration will be ours to do and our job to do. It's far too early to think, even think about Our focus is on restoring service, rebuilding the system. We're not focused on that part of the question at this time. I'm sorry, I can't. I think I heard Chairman Sumwalt refer to uh, the, the nature of the work that was being done and those involved. I'll leave reports on the investigation to the NTSB. Same answer. I, I want to make sure that we, we respect the investigation protocol and let the NTSB manage that flow of information. That's critically important. Sir, are you able to offer a timeline of when people uh, might get answers about their claims? 
the answers on the claims, the process has begun depending on the nature of their claim. We, we aim to expedite claims as quickly as we can to get people into a process where we can restore life and support them even while their claims are being processed. Our commitment is to the long term. The overall timeline for the claims is, is dependent on individual claims, so it, it depends. The, the, uh, the main point is we're in this for the long run. We're here to commit resources, all that's necessary to restore our customers and these communities to normal everyday life. And the full backing of all of the colleagues across Columbia Gas and NYSource have been brought in to ensure that happens.